Okay, everybody, I am putting my roof on my garage or my uh, chicken coop. I got the cleats on there and then I'm running this material going across three quarter inch material. What I'm doing is I'm holding this up and then I'm putting this guy up as like a template, you know, and I make sure it's nice and level. And then I screw it in with my screw gun here. We're gonna put it on here. Here, so could you hold it? And um, it's still running, so don't hit, you didn't hit any button, did you? No. Okay, so I'm level with the other one, or parallel to it. And I'm gonna watch the metal so I don't rip my, slice my damn arm open. like so and then you cut your bats that go across it to match and then we're going to run our roofing stuff uh going long wise with it running parallel with it it's just a chicken coop it's nothing fancy but it's something we decided to go with and we'll show you the uh the roofing but here's like a bird's eye view of it right here i'm using galvanized nails under this is the material that we are going to go with there's two sheets of it right here Got it all measured out and everything. Uh, it's by Owens or Lexan Corrugated Steel. Well, this is not steel. But as you can see, it'll do the job. Here's a bird's, bird's eye view of it. And here's my little setup in here. And I'm running these things right across like that. So that's that. Give me a minute. Go ahead. This is just a cheap Black & Decker chop saw, but it's important when you start to cut. This is going to be one of the bats. It's 38 and a half going across. Doing my marking, 38 and a half, measure twice, cut once. Alright, it's important you don't start right here, like this. Okay, a lot of people that cut, they go to do that and it starts off and it's just a mess. You start high, you try to like hide your thumb in, you never put your hand right by that stuff, by the blade. And you should have safety glasses on, but I'm hiding behind the guard, so. Awesome. All right, now I'm just pre-drilling I cut it 38 and a half right across. Pre-drilling, I always pre-drill. I worked in a cabinet shop many years. That's just what I do. And I'm gonna actually put, I don't have a countersink, so I'm us using this guy. So the head doesn't stick up too much because I don't want the metal rubbing against the uh, plastic that I put in. This is how finished product looks. Pause it for one second. Go. All right. As you can see, I had to adjust this one because they weren't balanced out. All right. Now I got this is my middle piece. I cut it. I'm putting it in between these two bats. And it's cut pretty much perfectly to size. If I fall, I'm going to crush a chicken. Will I fall? I don't know. Will this board crack? I don't know. Funniest home videos, maybe. Million views. Ah. You are a muck. Okay, I know that this was all material I had laying around the house. And hopefully I don't fall with this one. Oh, I'll tell you. Oh boy, I wish I could fly. Yep. All right, like, subscribe, man. Smash that like button. If you're watching this, I know it doesn't look like Norm Abrams built the doggone thing, but this is all stuff I had laying around the house. Everything. So I needed a new roof for my coop. Instead of spending the high prices on wood, I did just a very basic, you know, carpentry 101 kind of setup on it. Thanks, have a nice day. Have Easter questions, comments, please feel free. Smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Videos will get better. I'm getting editing software, so we're advancing and evolving in the world. Have a great rest of your day.